Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and this morning I'm gonna show you a really cool trick in sheet metal where you can either show the edges of the bends in your sheet metal flat pattern, or choose to merge them all together into one single flat face. Ow! So today we're gonna to talk about a quick tip, very powerful in sheet metal though. And if you're interested in getting a bunch of tips and tricks on sheet metal, be sure to join us next week on March 28th for my live stream all about tips and tricks in the world of SolidWorks sheet metal. That's March 28th at 10 a.m. live streaming right here on this channel. But of course, if you can't make it, it will be available for replay as soon as the live stream is over. It's gonna be filled with sheet metal tips and tricks. I hope to see everybody there. Now, this tip today is going to help you whenever you're trying to export a sheet metal design out to DXF or DWG. This is something very common we do with sheet metal. And so when I choose flatten here, usually the workflow is either to put this into a drawing or right from the flat pattern to do a right mouse button and choose export to DXF DWG. The problem is I have all of these extra faces here and so my laser cutter does not like that and it requires me doing a bunch of cleanup before I can actually start getting this thing cutting. Well, there's a very simple solution to this and that is to go over here to this feature in the tree. Now you'll notice that what I'm doing is I'm expanding a folder which is called flat pattern and then I'm finding the feature underneath that folder. I'm gonna do a right mouse button on that feature and I'm gonna choose edit feature. Once I choose edit feature, you can see here that I can choose merge faces right in the flat pattern feature, merge faces. And once I choose that and hit the green check mark, boom, all one face. And now I can cheerfully do a right mouse button, export to DXF DWG, or put that into a drawing and export it from there. Either way, that should take care of that issue. You should be able to now cut this thing cleanly without needing to do a bunch of cleanup on the DXF DWG. So if this tip was helpful and you wanna learn more about sheet metal, be sure to join us next week, March 28th at 10 a.m. for the live stream, Toby's Sheet Metal Tips and Tricks 2023. We're gonna have a lot of awesome interaction in the chat. Live questions are gonna be coming in from the chat. But if you can't watch the live stream, that's okay. You can still watch the recording. That'll be available right here on this channel as well. Lots of good tips and tricks in that presentation. And of course, if you enjoyed today's power move, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, leave me a comment down below letting me know what you thought about this tip, and be sure to share this video with other SolidWorks enthusiasts. And I will see everybody in the next episode.